It's May um, 16th, 2022. Linda rented a movie called Fortress. Sniper's Eye. And I'm like, no, oh, that's interesting. Why would she rent that? And I went to go look at it. It says, when Paul's wife, Melissa, is abducted, he and his father embark on a deadly journey through rugged mountains in hopes of saving her before time runs out. Which, of course, the L-I-S-S-A in the M-E, it's really interesting. And so then um, the opening is, again, really sensational. And it's, like, all woven into stars. And it's all, like, different cosmic systems. And then, like, there's the central light. And then there's what is brought in, I mean, like, again, in some other out-of-this-world measuring system. It could be how partnerships and a business idea and things get pulled together and get called together from the outfield to the infield in order to put some kind of alibi or recipe for disaster together or some whatever they do in humans. Um, I tried watching it. It looks like a porn star. It's like that kind of actress as the main role, one of the main two. Um, I just can't watch it. It just doesn't feel right. Again, it's like somebody else's life. It's not mine. It just doesn't feel right. But it studioed and partnered together under something called a lion's gate, which is even more confusing because why would... I mean, again, ugh. But I think that they were, even though Bruce Willis is in it, and I thought he was like an A-lister, they put together some cast of like, I don't know, not A-lister actors and actresses for the purposes of, I have no idea. This came out in 2022. Linda actually paid like seven, eight bucks to rent this. I have no idea why. It says pimenta, and then it even has a reference to paprika. I'm like, now, is that on top of deviled eggs? I'm just curious, because it's like that word never gets mentioned ever. And it's like the PI and the MI, if they got together and, like, had a baby for ENT purposes at the, like, alpha hood. I don't know, like, I mean, that looks how they, like, built that word at film company. This is Lionsgate and Grindstone Entertainment Group. I have no idea who any of these people are. In association with Sherborne Media and Paprika Financing. Like, at Moving Pictures Association and, like, the Academy of, like, likes to keep its stuff together, um, it gets really confusing with all of these symbolic gestures and references. SSS Film Capital, Verd Productions, SSS Entertainment. <sighs> Two weeks after the Fortress Assault, 
in Russia somewhere. I don't know, according to whatever this is going on. Um, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketter is its Earth, Solar is the Milky Way Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 1361. Only real thing worth mentioning in this movie, I mean, like, the beginning opens up in a Lucy kind of a way, and then, um, the way they travel is different. They travel in underground tunnels and bunkers and systems and things. Um, I don't have access to that kind of stuff here. I'm somehow just exposed at surface gamma radiation level. Um, with whatever the UV light's going on and whatever toxic chemicals, the weapons of mass destruction they call automobiles is throwing into the air whatever they're burning i don't know um currently trying to neutralize my blood with white vinegar by with dilute in water see if that helps my kidneys or my nephrons um Yeah, I'll pause this for a sec. This opening scene is whatever it is. Or whatever it was. Ready to make another video to send to your husband. Now, if real people like him exist in the world, um, why is there not better security in New York? And why do they just move people around in other people's areas if that's what they come from or what they're used to? In a civilized way, I'm just curious. It's called Fortress Sniper's Eye. I'm pretty sure in the American disaster story that I'm living through at the moment, these traumatic events that have occurred here and elsewhere, um, they really do shape one's um, way that they look at the bread and circus and how the trivial um, it, are really trying to stay in some boundary lines but still play trivia with 
uneducated public really putting them more in harm's way. Um, again, I don't know how to circumnavigate this any other way. The only thing that frightens me about this is they have this part in there about there's like a guy who looks kind of like 1975 there's a guy that kind of looks busted like 1976 in this movie at this however they did makeup and hair or no hair or whatever um in parallels that actually whatever and so Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? I mean, again, from Fortress Sniper's Eye. When you've only had access to, like, a handful of humans your entire life, those are the people who have handled situations that you've been in and then whatever the aftermath does in their quiet whatever... at like not stirring up dust or whatever or they do it quietly for other reasons then there's market manipulation like it looks like the 1975 version is going like turns at some point gets really nasty and wants money and whatever I have no idea what that's about um again this isn't like my genre um Lots of nasty things go on around the world and around in New York. But it's outside my scope of reality and not that they don't exist. It's just... It's part of a larger existential pro problem that I thought had some way of keeping the peace being P-E-A-C-E at the P.E. gym department and the ACE and then the P.I.E.C.E. -E. It just seems my piece of the pie has never really been served properly, let's say. And so all this whatever has gone on. Yeah, but in this movie, they've got above ground and underground movement on their island. Um, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Getter is its Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. Um, and this movie came out in 2022.